Welcome back guys to DJ Outdoor Life. It's a nice day out here in the forest and just wanted to start to say that I'm really grateful for all you guys that do support my channel, that do subscribe. We have reached the 1k mark now and I'm really happy for that. When I started this channel for two years ago I didn't think I would reach 100. Knowing that many of you appreciate my channel and I hope you will stick around for several years. Let's keep on growing together. So what are we checking out today guys? Yeah, we're going to check out the knife that for the beginning was one of the first. I know I have introduced, I know I have said that the first real knife I got was the F1. Yeah, it maybe was the first knife you saw in my video that I did get that inspired me to really do this and share with you guys. But I did have another knife before that. I think you already know what it is. And it's the Mora, uh, Mora Black in carbon steel. This knife has been with me for several years. I have really abused this knife, used this knife in many situations. And I can only tell you it's a great knife if you're starting out and want to go out there and have a tool you can rely on. It's not full tanning, it's rat, rat tail tanning, I know, but if you use your knife correctly, this will last you forever. So what did I get? I think you already know. I got the twin brother of this one, but in orange <laughs> yeah it comes in orange not really my color maybe I don't know it's like fluorescent orange it's almost hurts my eyes looking at this knife but the good thing I wanted is this is carbon and this is stainless yeah so this knife is then the Mura Knieve Bushcraft orange model in stainless steel As you see it's brand new. I haven't done anything with this knife. It's right out of the box as you call it. The grind is the factory grind and the spine is the one that you also get. So I haven't done anything on this and we are going to test it out and see what it can do. I think it can do the same as its brother. And obviously, as always, we're going to do my ordinary stuff with a knife, like some feather stick, batoning, and fire making. So let's get started, guys. You know it's a Scandinavian grind here. I can see small small micro V edge to make it a bit more durable. So almost a full Scandinavian. You can call it Scandinavian grind with a microscopic V edge just to toughen up the retention and make it last a bit more. That should work as a baton. So here we have a few pieces to baton, baton through. Nothing major. Should do a pretty good job with these pieces. Really dry pieces. So I shouldn't have any problems. There we got the split. Yeah. It 
needs to a bit smaller so we can get it to do some feather sticks. As you can see, it's no problem splitting wood, batoning wood of this size. Here we have. When you split them, don't hit here on the tip. Try first to hit right in the center. Then it won't affect your tang as much. If you hit here, it will go up like that but hitting here you won't even feel it now obviously you need to hit the tip but then the split has already occurred and it will be pretty easy so there we go ah, that's i think it's enough for a small demonstration of batoning with this knife no problem now let's do some feathers. It's razor sharp so it really digs in. So this is not such fine feathers, a bit thicker are they? Knife is excellent in wood, really digs in. So you need to be light on your hand, finding the sweet spot of the angle of your blade. You can get some small curls if you want to. And a bit thicker feathers. There we go. Just some feathers to get the fire going. And we really do have a nice tip to work with. So if you need to do some finer tasks with the tip of your knife, it's no problem. Let's check the spine of the knife. Should have a pretty good spine on this knife. So having a 90 degree spine for me is pretty important. For example, when it's been raining a lot and you want some finer dust, dust from your wood, you can do it like this. And here we have really fine, thin, should be pretty easy to ignite that with your fire steel. I don't think I would have any problem igniting this. Let's get my fire steel. Really nice 90 degree spine. And there we go guys. Your fire is started.
So there we go guys. Small demonstration of the new Mora Bushcrafter Orange that I got. Exactly the same as the black. Yeah, in stainless. Everything is the same. The color is different and the steel is different. And I have really appreciate this knife and what it can do, what it can take. And yeah, why not get the brother one in stainless to test it out? So, obviously, you can do smaller tasks, carving, and all the good stuff with this knife, also. The big, big thing for me because I'm living, as you know, in Sweden. It's pretty humid, it rains a lot, you get your equipment wet, you get your knife wet, and you don't have to think about it with the corrosion. You don't need to wipe it off as much as you need to wipe this off. You need to... This has, obviously, a protection coat for the corrosion, but here on the blade, where you can see the grind goes and everything, there you can get some rust. And I don't like rust. I like my knives pretty and clean. <laughs> now, just kidding. The knives are for using. And for the price I pay for this knife, it's very affordable here in Sweden. Uh, you can't be disappointed. The only thing I could say is at uh, in time, like this knife, the sheath will get pretty, how you call it? Uh, it won't secure your knife as good as it did from the beginning. Now it's secured, almost, you said. <laughs> so if I shake it like that, so it could fall out. So what I did on this one, when it fall out all the time, I just heated it up took a clamp, pressed here, and now it's no rattle and very secure. I didn't do a pretty job on that one, but doesn't matter. So in time, I will do the same on this, maybe a bit nicer work knife like this. I will try to do it with my fingers, with some gloves on, and it will be a bit better. So I hope you enjoy, guys, and don't forget, Subscribe, share and all the good stuff and I'll see you back on the next video.